Pie charts are another method, method for visualizing categorical data. Again, a type of chart you've probably seen either in a course or just a newspaper. Pie charts get used pretty heavily as visual tools. When we create a pie chart in StatCrunch, we'll have this window pop up that'll look very similar to what we just did for bar charts. We'll have one column consisting of all our category names, another column consisting of our counts. There will also be some options to order things um, by value, by worksheet, so if you want things in a chronological order. Um, but what we'll generate is a circle graph sliced into these individual pieces, or pie slices. And then on the right-hand side, sort of a legend that tells you which, co which color corresponds to which piece of the pie, what category that's titled, and then both the number of counts in that category and the relative number of counts, so the percentage. So um, 2.046 makes up about 8% of the total counts there. When we interpret pie charts, we still want to discuss mode and variability, just like we did with bar charts. So let's type up an interpretation of the pie chart that we have featured here. Um, in this case, it's actually a pie chart on the exact same data that we already looked at with a bar chart. So we'll just kind of talk about this process, but we'll end up with an interpretation that's very similar to what we already came up, came up with. So first we want to talk about is our mode. The mode for this chart occurred in, and it might be a little difficult to read from the actual pie chart itself, so we can come over to the list of information over on the right, and we can see that in 2003 and in 2012, we had the highest values. So the mode for this chart occurred in 2003 and 2012, indicating that those years saw the largest revenues for R-rated films. We also want to talk about variability. This chart has a high level of variability because each year has similarly sized slices of pie. So each of those individual slices in our chart look all very similar in size. So because each year had similarly large revenues is how we would translate that into the context of our problem, since what we're talking about is the revenue for those different movies. So the information is presented in a slightly different way than the bar chart, but we want the same interpretations for mode and variability. They, those things might be a little bit, variability is actually relatively easy to read here. We can see all the slices of the pie are pretty similar, but for mode, to get that center, we may need to consult this chart over on the right hand side to get a more accurate picture of which of those slices is are, are the largest slices.